is how much? 1,009 or 1,800 or whatever. Now here is dollar. My name is Chief West I operate from heaven. Dollar, hear my voice. Go down in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> You will not be a prophet. After today, you will not be a prophet. After today, you will not be a prophet. Elias Akata, the suffering is too much. I cannot be here as a prophet. And my people will be suffering. Dollar crash, 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 crash. Dollar crash, crash, crash. Dollar crash, crash. Dollar fail, fail, fail. I came across this video and I'm yet to even understand what this man is doing here. Is this a kind of prayer? Like how do you comfortably pray to God to spoil another man's own, to crash dollar just in your favor? <laughs> is God from your village? It's like this God is part of your kinsmen because I don't get it. And above all, this is the height of illiteracy. Our problem in this country, one of our problems is that it's a major problem in this country. Some of you believe that prayer can do everything. Prayer answers all. My dear, prayer does not. There are things that need action. There are things that the government really need to do for certain things to happen. Prayer is not going to solve those ones. Now, let me tell you, for example, since i was born to today and evil years to come we have been praying for nigerian president we have been praying for our governors we have been praying for the government at large everybody we pray for them every day in the catholic prayers they are like they they are parts where pr the prayers are dedicated to leaders of the nation and yet we have the worst government ever. We have the worst economy. We have the worst type of politics, politicians. We have the worst marketing. Our currency is the worst. And yet we have been praying. How can you be praying for someone who is deliberately causing you pain? And this is the kind of choice some of you are going your pastor right in your present is spilling evil evil talk evil words and you as a member you can't call him to order look at how he's jumping up as if um, the power of um, dollar lies on his hands or the one of naira lies on his hands your pastor is feeling evil and the only thing you could do is to be shouting amen and that is why the Bible says that a lot of them will come in my name. A lot of them will call my name, but just few are called. Some of these people call themselves. They call themselves a man of God, but trust me, they are God of man. They have called themselves deceiving people. I came across this prayer and I just want to tell some of you that. Hmm? I want to use my platform to tell some of you that. Prayer will not do everything. Prayer is not the key to everything. Your government, your politicians, Tinubu and so on, they are deliberately causing Nigerians pain and going to church to shout so that your voice will crack like mine that is having cough. My dear, it will not solve the issue. Try and think. I'm not an economist, but I know that miracle cannot raise the Nigerian currency back to its normal state. Nigeria has, Naira has lost its value. Praying every day to force is not going to bring it back. Unless those officials in power, they do what they are supposed to do. How is Naira going to come back to its normal state? When Tunubu is going to official meeting with his sons, imagine people that has no degree, people that have no, no people that knows nothing about business. It's people who are accompanying the president of the country. So do not let these people to deceive you. They have made themselves God to some foolish people who cannot differentiate between the Holy Spirit and a pure scammer. Imagine. Dollar four. Dollar four. Naira rise. Naira rise. <laughs> 
oh my god oh, my voice is so bad because uh, <clears throat> like what is this is this a kind of prayer hey somebody should tell that she may see okay see whatever that his name is that his that his level of illiteracy is not treading on social media all in the name of pastors i know i'll post this video now some of you that know nothing about economic growth that know absolute nothing that those basic amenities are meant to be provided by your government and not powers and not miracle and not by a fire thunder fire them thunder no fire them no there are basic things good roads good water food these are things your government are meant to provide for each citizen but how many they don't do none 24 electricity zero in nigeria we don't have power we don't have anything we are just living as if we are the poorest people in the world talk to your government drag them if you have to talk if you have to open a social media account to talk about it do so my darling but you see all these churches <laughs> everybody is after their stomach there is hunger in the land everybody wants to look for every possible means to put food on their table and you can't blame them anyway when belay face now now road so don't let them deceive you don't let them collect the little you have to feed themselves and their family